Dust storms, one of nature's wildest sights. A towering wall of sand and grit a mile high. The sky turns orange, then black. Day transforms into night. The street lights come on. Damaging winds tear through communities. Gusts often top 70 miles per hour. And the technical term for that dust storm? A haboob. Dust storms aren't just something they get in the Middle East. Sure, Iraq and Kuwait, they get plenty of them. Realistically, you can get a dust storm anywhere there's dust, including right here in the United States. Across the country, the desert southwest is the most prone, with 68% of dust storm alerts being issued in the state of Arizona, but they can happen all the way east towards Illinois. Now, there are different types of dust storms. Sandstorms happen across big deserts when prevailing winds loft dust. Sometimes, tropical trade winds can even carry Saharan dust all the way across the ocean. It's tough to appreciate just how fine this dust is, but last time I was in the Sahara, I filled a pickle jar with this desert sand, and look how little teeny the grains are. They're like the size of makeup. In fact, they still stick to my fingers even after I, I lift them out of the jar. Then we have generic blowing dust. We see this a lot in the spring across the central states, even all the way up into the Chicago area. It usually happens with big low pressure systems. When we swing in either a cold front or a dry line, the winds kick up behind on the backside of low pressure and you pick up dust. This can even happen on a small localized scale. Take May 1st, 2023, for example, in Montgomery County, Illinois. Winds blew dirt from a farm across Interstate 55, causing a 72-car pileup that unfortunately killed seven people. I've even seen tornadoes wrapped in dust storms in Texas. Some of these things are pretty big, pretty dusty, and pretty mean. But then we get to haboobs, which most commonly happen in the desert southwest. A haboob is the name given to dust kicked up by thunderstorm outflow, outflow being that cool air exhaust exiting storms. In the summertime, southerly winds waft moisture northwards from both the Gulf and the Pacific. We call this the summer monsoon. It affects the four corners and the intermountain west, but at the surface, it's still dry. That makes for thunderstorms with strong downbursts, or plumes of rain-cooled air that descend, hit the ground, and fan outwards, in the process, kicking up walls of dust or dirt. Now, 30 to 50% of all the rainfall in New Mexico and Arizona comes from the summer monsoon, primarily in June, July, August, and very early September. But that's also the key time frame for dust storms. And dust storms may be becoming more common thanks to a warming world. As we heat the landscape, we desiccate it, we dry it out even more, making conditions ripe for blowing dust. Now, dust storms can lead to zero visibility. That can quickly cause a major pileup on a roadway. That's why the National National Weather Service issues dust storm warnings, which also trigger WIA, or the Wireless Emergency Alert System. They make your phone squeal. That's enough to get people to hopefully pull over. After all, the National Weather Service says, pull aside, stay alive. That's what you have to do anytime you encounter low visibilities, especially in blowing dust. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.